one. Well, the executive director of the NRA spoke at CPAC today, the Conservative Political Action Conference. Here's a bit of that. Evil walks among us, and God help us if we don't harden our schools and protect our kids. The whole idea from some of our opponents that armed security makes us less safe is completely ridiculous. Listen to me now and never forget these words. To stop a bad guy with a gun, it takes a good guy with a gun. Our senior Washington correspondent, Dan Raviv, joining us from our studios there. Dan, what do you make of where this gun debate is going, where today you have the president, after that impassioned, emotional conversation with parents, with survivors, tweeting his support for the NRA, and then we hear the NRA saying, we really need more guns in schools for protection. No, Reid. Uh, our viewers around the world know that the United States is an unusually gun-oriented society. There's no doubt about it. The Second Amendment to the Constitution of this country uh, has existed for well over 200 years and gives the citizens of the United States the right to bear arms, to own guns. That's what the National Rifle Association stands up for. Now, a lot of Americans, certainly those who consider themselves liberals or progressives, think the NRA is terrible. And the student activists who survived that massacre on Wednesday of last week at the high school in Florida. They think the NRA is bad and they've been saying so. Well, President Trump has now had two major public events listening to people. Uh, that was yesterday and again today, officials mostly from Florida. And today, as a matter of fact, the president not only said that the NRA is a group of patriots and good people, but he said they are willing to, quote, do things. That's his way of saying that the NRA will agree to some reforms. The president president says that he told the National Rifle Association it doesn't look good to stand firm and do nothing. And more importantly, the president said he met with some of the wounded people and some of the heroes in Florida last week. And he told the NRA, we need some changes. Very briefly, here's what he has in mind. Instead of the age of 18 to buy a rifle, make it age 21. Do ban the bump stocks uh, that can make rifles into practically machine guns. And... Let's have armed teachers in schools. The president kept coming back to that. He really likes that idea. Pay them bonuses, well-trained, armed teachers in the schools of America. Narita Kalev. All right, Dan Raviv in Washington. Thanks very much for that. The NRA willing to do things. We'll have to see okay. about that. And armed teachers in classrooms, uh, I think it raises certainly some difficult right, questions The bottom line, there. we keep hearing more guns, not less. We're going to go out for a quick break, but still to come right here on The Rundown. Saudi Arabia announces a $64 billion plan to become a global entertainment giant. But is the kingdom that banned movies and concerts for decades actually ready for that kind of change?